Jennifer and I are out on a mission today. Last year, we talked about on some of our videos how we were going through a lot of different transitions in terms of theology, church, and a possible move. And we, we talked about on a number of our videos also the downsizing, minimizing, and simplifying that we were doing to be prepared for a move. At first, we kind of thought that was going to be out to the uh, Titusville, Pennsylvania area where some really awesome friends of ours are. But after praying about it and seeking the Lord on it, we didn't really feel like that's where it was. Then we kind of tried to think about, you know, if we had the chance to move where we wanted to move, you know, where would that be? And we kind of thought what came to mind and we looked at the map and kind of, you know, took our human wisdom on where the best place to move and where we want to and it looked like that was between Montana and Idaho. The problem was God hadn't opened up anything for us to move. So it's kind of like, well, I don't know, we did all this downsizing, made all these videos about uh, this move transition and everything like that, but it does, I don't see any way, we didn't see any way that we could actually move anywhere. We didn't have the funds to do it and we just didn't see how we could do it. So there we were, it, you know, the last video on talking about that was probably months ago and it looked like, I don't know, you know, it really cleared our minds and everything. It felt good to thin things out and simplify and everything, but the whole move part just really didn't see how that was going to happen or how that was going to take place. So a couple Fridays ago, I was at the dining table and I was going to go visit my grandma but I was really kind of feeling tired um, and just kind of relaxing and I thought maybe I would go a different day but then I got an automated call that there was a prescription at the local pharmacy for her so I thought okay I guess God says it's time to go visit grandma today so I got myself put together picked up her prescription and I got to her facility and I was walking down to turn in her prescription and the nurse uh, for the facility pulled me uh, aside and asked to talk to me and basically explained that she'd been observing grandma for over a 30-day period of time and sometimes my grandma has gotten into seasons of needing a little bit extra care and then she kind of makes a turnaround and she goes back into just you know being totally independent uh, but that wasn't the case. She's needing some more care and that that is uh, playing out consistently and she's not making a, a change back uh, into independence. And so, which at 95, she'll be 95 in April. It's, you know, it's a foreseen thing. Um, but it turned out that she would be going from level zero care to a level three care um, and each care is a certain dollar figure and so it just kind of priced her out of being able to stay in that facility and so realizing that um, our options of being able to take care of grandma kind of turned from um, that facility to a in-home care and before I chose the facility where she's at I had looked at um, you know other in-home care people who you know that's that's their job that's what they do they open their home and have people come in and I just didn't have a comfortable feeling with the ones that are in our area and you know maybe there's wonderful ones other places uh, but just what was available and what I had experienced I wasn't real comfortable with it and so Scott and I started beginning the conversation. We had already talked about it at one point, realizing that grandma was going to get to the point of, you know, needing some care and what would we do at that point. And uh, so now it was time to have that discussion. Here we were. What were we going to do? Since Jennifer and I had talked about it previously, you know, taking uh, grandma in or living with grandma to caretake for her, you know, we'd talked about it, but at that time she kind of made one of those recoveries and, well, it just didn't happen then. But we'd talked about it, we prayed about it, and this time we've been talking about it and praying about it and just 
feeling like it's something that we could do. And uh, also Jennifer went to the Bible and looked up some, I knew some scriptures uh, on the subject of taking care of uh, family from our study last year uh, that we did in our Bible study that we did some videos on. And uh, she went through, came up with some of those and as well as some others. Psalm 68, six. God sets the lonely in families. He leads forth the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. I thought that was interesting that it says that God sets the lonely in families. 1 Timothy 5, 3-8 through eight. Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. But if a widow has children or grandchildren, these should learn first of all to put their religion into practice by caring for their own family and so repaying their parents and grandparents. For this is pleasing to God. The widow who is really in need and left alone puts her hope in God and continues night and day to pray and to ask God for help. But the widow who lives for pleasure is dead even while she lives. Give the people these instructions too, so that no one may be open to blame. If anyone does not provide for his relatives and especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Hmm. That scripture is pretty to the point. If you're wanting to know God's will and a question of whether or not you should help out your grandmother. 1 Timothy 5.16 If any woman who is a believer has widows in her family, she should help them and not let the church be burdened with them so that the church can help those widows who are really in need. Hmm. God can be really to the point sometimes. So after reading those scriptures, it was kind of a no-brainer that it was God kicking this option into action. So we're moving forward and we're moving. So we really felt like that's what we were supposed to do. So <laughs> here we are again where the, you know, the transition continues. So we're out here, you know, checking out some different neighborhoods, checking out some homes to uh, look at possible places to move. Seemed like this situation was gonna be good all around because with grandma's expenses almost getting to the place where they were gonna double and then uh, her sons, Jennifer's dad and her uncle, had previously said that they would put in to helping grandma, but with this amount, it'd be a huge amount for them to have to cover and uh, especially for the whole year when you look at it, it's a big giant amount to cover. And then with us being in a situation where we're still, you know, a little bit short on our, um, our funding to be completely funded for our minimum expenses, that this will help everybody out. That uh, Jennifer's dad and uncle won't have to be pay paying that big expense. Grandma will be able to have a, a place to go to rather than a little studio apartment kind of thing. Uh, we're looking at houses to have enough room for her, all of us, and the cats and all that, which that's, that's a big prayer point right there, finding a place that will accept six cats. But it just seems like all around it'd be good for everybody and and you know going into a house we we kind of we'd always would have liked to be in a house and and thought that you know moving to a less expensive uh state or something like that we might be able to do that but we kind of you know gave up on that and kind of said you know what god if this is where we're at right now in this apartment that we're good with that we just want to do what god wants us to do but this whole situation you know on our part you know i mean it's gonna you know we're pretty much 24 seven going to be caretaking for grandma. That's going to cut down on us being able to travel and that kind of stuff. But, um, it opens up an opportunity where it looks like we're possibly going to be in a house. So it just is wild the way God puts things together that we would, ne would have never been able to come up with on our own. So we're just kind of checking some places out here today to see, uh, it, what the different neighborhoods look like and looking for a place that we could potentially uh, move into and move grandma into. 
So it's pretty crazy that uh, we just kind of put the uh, transition of moving to the side and just kind of felt like, okay, God, if we're staying here, we're good with that. But I think that's where he wants us to get. You know, I did forget that it was interesting that same Friday that grandma's prescription came up was also the same day that the video aired where we shared that okay if this is where you have us then okay and if it's pantry for the rest of our life okay and then all of a sudden bam <laughs> just like that everything changes so we'll keep you up to date on what goes on with this moving transition and the whole home scouting thing that we're doing and prayers please yeah definitely but uh, so that's it for uh, this update and this part of the transition. But the transition continues. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next video. That's all, folks. Hi, yo, yo.